Hi, um, Andy Mack here again, just taking to a little Norman church um, built in 1140 in Surrey. Um, I'll just take you inside and it's kind of got me thought I'd come here having seen uh, von Kettingham's um, Norman army. Um, show a bit of architecture, Norman architecture, there's a little gateway there. Um, this is definitely Norman here. Um, is it down through the ages, a little uh, relief of uh, 1150. The Crusaders, the, during the 13th century, the Crusaders would come and keep vigil at a local church before leaving to the Holy Land. Um, I'd say it was a pathway for various bits and pieces. Um, there's Edward the Black Prince was a patron of the parish, uh, to which Pyford was joined in 1631. During the 15th century, the Tudor porch was built in front of the carved Norman arch. That's where we are now. And uh, Elizabeth I often visited Perford Place, uh, which is just near here, and the church, perhaps. It was a queen herself who, in 15th century, presented the beautiful silver chalice, so uh, some sort of chalice or something there. Um, and then there's bits about the English Civil War, which uh, I won't dwell on right now, but I uh, don't know if you care to read that. Okay, let's go and have a look. Very thick walls, as you can see. Um, Windows at the back here. I'm told that there's some medieval carvings and paint reliefs in here as well. So um, get the smell of these places of sort of damp, damp um, mortar. It's quite a small church. And this is the interesting some paint. Well, obviously in the medieval times they would have been very brightly coloured and painted. And there's a number of uh, reliefs on the walls and things which uh, have been found over the years. Uh, again, archway. I won't spend long in here, guys, because it can get a bit boring watching someone. But here's a uh, very interesting uh, paintwork. Again, it's uh, pictures of folk on a of those Canterbury Tales. <laughs> There's a nice little uh, painting of a medieval bits and pieces. Uh, one of my friends is actually married in this church, so uh, it's quite, quite an interesting place. Um, and then again, just finally, uh, I'll put the, the stained glass there. Again, the very deep windows, thick walls. Roof is all wooden, so I think that's obviously been updated over the years, so I can't really claim that's... Uh, there's some little reliefs here, which I'm told is a medieval feature of churches. Um, on each of the, the walls, they have yeah, little crosses. Um, and there's also, which is quite nice, bits of graffiti and bits and pieces on here. Uh, again little symbols and church stuff. And then finally I saw some graffiti in here which was quite nice. I don't know if you'll see that but it says Harry Shield 1619 or something. Um, which is quite quite little. Uh, I don't know who he was and where he ended up but uh, all the graffiti there from 